Okay, Central West Farming Systems is a farmer driven organisation who looks at research, development and extension of sustainable farming practices across Central West New South Wales. We have 11 regional sites um, spread over a 250 kilometre radius of Kondobon. Uh, Central West Farming Systems has been doing a number of research projects over the last few years. We've been doing a water sufficiency project which has been looking at increasing water sufficiency in the Central West by 10%. We've been doing a crop sequencing project uh, which is looking at the benefit of broadleaf um, crops in an economic and a, a sustainable manner um, with the soil health. We've also been doing grain and graze, which is looking at livestock and in the farming systems. We have a um, action on the ground project that's looking at soil carbon and soil health. That's here at the Ag Station. We have a long-term trial here that has national significance. It's been running since 1998, and it's on four different farming systems and how those impact on on the soil health, erosion. We're looking at water sufficiency, soil biota. Um, and at the economics of those different farming systems and the impact of carbon on those. We also work with universities such as the Graham Centre, which is Charles Sturt University and New South Wales DPI, on a number of projects including integrated weed management and um, other action on the ground carbon and nitrous oxide ones with other farming systems groups as well. And Central West Farming Systems is a member of the Low Rainfall Collaboration Group, which is a of five farming systems groups across New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. And we specifically look at what are the local issues pertinent to our area, what is the science behind them and applying it to our local area at our 11 regional sites. We also have a very strong women base as well, so we're targeting our um, research and extension activities towards a women's group, what we call that. We have women doing a diploma in agribusiness management. They're also looking at workshops that have run on agronomy or livestock management or the risk of the farm business as well. Um, and that one we have over 360 women as part of our, our database so who have um, participated in those activities and that one is going forward looking at how we merge that group with um, the other two states in the low rainfall group and the other project that we're working on at the moment is our youth in agriculture which is working with high schools and students that are from kindergarten right through to high school um, including up to university and getting them to understand different agricultural practices and long-term sustainability and viability. Central West Farming Systems has been so successful up to a national level, I think, or I firmly believe, because we have a fantastic supportive board and importantly the team. It's an absolute team effort across the board. There is no one player. Um, and by, by working as a team and recognising each other's strengths, we've been able to go forward we have a lot of input from our farmer members and making sure that the things that we do are locally specific. And we also make sure that the local farmers um, have actual direct input into the projects and it's a hands-on activities as well. So our, the really individual thing with Central West Farming Systems is our regional sites we, with our 11 of them spread across the Central West. Each of them has a committee and we try, we try to have them very interactive with what we're doing. And so therefore, because it's hands-on, people are more likely to adopt the outcomes that um, a project is about. And we also get um, have listened to the women over the years and without sounding like women livers, but just they are an important part of the farming business and, and are asking for information and by getting them to be involved in activities that are specifically targeted to women, they're becoming much more empowered in what they're doing and, and um, that will help in the long term sustainability. The Rain and Grain program here at Central West Farming Systems is part of the National Water Use Efficiency Project sponsored by GRDC. In an effort to improve water use efficiency right here in the Central West, the area around the fallows and catching out of, sea, out of crop rainfall for storage in the soil profiles for, to help our crops grow in the spring is really the targeted area that we've been working on. Conserving our summer rainfall in our fallows here is very important to our final crop yields, but we must do it in a way that uh, conserves the soil health and prevents erosion. And we've trialled a number of practices in our, in our fallow efficiency trials and monitored how farmers are, are maintaining their fallows. It's important to maintain both ground cover on the, on the soil surface but also to control the weeds. Weeds are 
weeds are the major issue in terms of loss of summer rainfall over which the farmers have control. Nowadays, chemical weed control is common practice for our fallows, and therefore we're looking at uh, controlling fallows with minimal chemical inputs and also maintaining the diversity of life within the soil over the summertime.